Hello everyone, it's Jawtooth here, and I'm in downtown Peebles, Ohio. This is the location of the newest customer on the railroad, the McCoy Lumber. They ship railroad ties, raw, untreated railroad ties come out. They just started shipping these from a siding right over here. See, there's the railroad ties all stacked up waiting for the train to come. There's a railroad siding just to the left of that. I filmed the very last Norfolk Southern train on that siding uh, somewhere back in, in 2014. There goes Gary. One thing's for sure, it's the last train I'll ever be on this siding right here. I never thought they'd use it again, but they started using that again, so that's good. And the train will be here in about 20 minutes. I got in front of them, and here's the, the track. Let's have a close look at the, the rail here before it gets here. A little bit of rust. So we'll, we'll see this thing get shined up. Go ahead and keep that video going, son. This will be really cool. Downtown Peebles, Ohio. All right, here comes the train. And they've got five cars to set off on this siding. So they'll have to run around the train just east of here. They've got a run around siding. Kind of creeping into town. Not many trains come through here. Just run as needed. The conductor's down there near the switch where the train's going by really slow right now.
Alrighty, there you go. Those last five cars on that train will be set off on the siding down here. So we'll have to do a run around and come back and then shovel them into the siding. So the last five get loaded right here with the uh, railroad ties. And then the, the 25, what was it? I think it's 25, yeah, 25 cars on the front. Those will be loaded with rock at Plum Run. That's just a few miles east of here. That's the quarry. That's pretty nice they reopened that quarry. They reopened that, what was the last year I guess it was when they reopened the quarry and started shipping rock out. They got a rock shuttle. They shipped the rock from Plum Run here um, to Milford, Ohio where they unload it. And, uh, and they load on the trucks over there. All right, thanks for watching everyone. That's pretty cool. And that's McCoy Lumber right there. Ah, oh, but wait, there's more! Of course there was this. I forgot to mention, the first car on the train, that first gone, that's got scrap metal. They picked that up in Macon at Cohen Recycling. They, they picked that up two days ago. So that's got scrap metal in it. That was on Friday when they picked that up. And here's the siding where they're going to load the railroad ties. Right here. See, they just recently cut the weeds and stuff from it. It ties in way down there, about 500 feet or so down that way. It ties in. So this is where they're gonna load the railroad ties. And there's the ties right there. They're gonna set five cars on this siding. Check this out. The siding actually crosses the road, but it's completely buried under, you can't see it. It crosses the road and it goes just to the left-hand side of that building right there. There's a loading dock. I'm not sure how old that building is. Interesting historical stuff right here in Peebles. Okay, I'm on Nixon Avenue right now, and the train's going to go right underneath me. I'm in downtown Peebles, right at the edge of town. So here comes the train. You'll be able to look down in those guns from up here. This will be a cool shot. Here they come. Kind of hard to see these trees, isn't it? All right, there you go, underneath of Nixon Avenue. Now let's go catch them up here in town. Nixon Avenue and 4th Street. Okay, I'm down here at the siding now. Uh, down here at McCoy, siding. And here they are shoving in. They beat me down here by about a minute or two. But they're shoving eastbound right now on the siding. It's a long siding and they're way down at that end of it. Here they come. been about eight years since I've seen this siding used. Now they have used it a few times that I didn't, I didn't get the first, I know I didn't get at least the first time they used this, but I got the very last Norfolk Southern train on this. Wow, there's some trees in the way. Ten four stopping on the 
All right, they started moving again. I'm having a hard time seeing because the sun's right in my eyes, but they separated the locomotives I see. I'm having a hard time seeing because I got the sun in my eyes and there's glare on my camera. So I hope I'm getting this thing centered right. I can't really see what I'm filming at the moment. Oh, the clouds helped a little bit. The clouds helped a little. Now I can see just a little bit. This is so cool seeing this siding used again. First time I've seen it used in eight years. They just recently started using it. Sweet. Other locomotives way up that way. I hope I'm getting it on camera. We're going to shovel a little bit farther. So cool looking. Some rare stuff here.
Okay, I just messed up, folks. I wasn't recording when I thought I was. I couldn't see my camera because of the glare. I got the sun in my eyes. The camera had a lot of glare to it, so I didn't film the engine going back out. Oh, man, I'm kind of bummed out on that. But anyways, they pulled the locomotive back out. They're coupling both back together, and they're going to come back by here again, headed east back towards the quarry, where they'll tie on to the um, quarry cars, and they'll end their day there. So let's see them go by again. We'll catch them go by here again in Peebles. All right, here they come. Running the light back across the crossing here. Main Street, downtown Peebles. Uh, they got to stop. All right, here we go. Across the crossing. He's flagging the crossing. I get the best shot here. Wish that telephone pole wasn't there. There they go, back to Plum Run to tie on to the car to be loaded with rock. And this is mile post 72 right here, downtown Peebles. C. C stands for Cincinnati. There's probably some people on the track. I saw some people walking down there before. Okay, let's have a look at the rails, see how shiny they are. There you go, got the rails all shined up. All right, everyone, thanks for watching. Had a pretty good day here on the railroad. All kinds of live action today. Man, it's getting hot too. Wish I would've got that shot where they're coming out of the siding because um, that was a really good spot I was wanting to catch. And I thought I had it and my camera wasn't recording. Oh man, it's a bummer. God. I really want to get to that locomotive coming out of that siding. That was a lot of glare, it was hot, and I couldn't see. Uh, anyways, thanks for watching. Just got down working in McCoy Lumber here in Peebles. All right, I just want to thank everyone for watching my videos. Um, I do put a lot of work and time into them and a lot of thought, so I appreciate everyone supporting my channel. Your views are what pays for the gas, and it's a fun hobby to do. I can't believe I can actually make money doing this. You know, uh, the more views I get, the better I do. So keep watching. Every view really helps my channel. Thanks for watching. We still got Norfi and we got Chessie. And the slideshow, too. Don't forget the slideshow. There's always a slideshow after every video it pertains to that video. Okay, thanks a lot. We'll see you later. Kitty. Hey, kitty cat. Hi there. Looky. Looky. Hi, kitty. What are you doing? I just got back from on the train and the kitty cat was sleeping. We had to wake her up. Hi kitty, where you going? Don't go away. What are you doing? Just you need to be more like this dog. See? See that? Hi Jesse. Hi Jesse, what are you doing? Hi, Brandy. <coughs> Brandy's easy to film. Jesse's hard to film. <laughs>